Hi guys, this is Katja with Creator's Image. Today I'm showing you a mini elm that is slightly different from the ones I showed you before until now. This one has a ring binding and on top of that it has a box that it fits into, which I'm very proud of because I made it myself and I'd like to tell you about it. So let me show you what I did here. This box I created with uh, craft paper. Uh, the thicker kind, the heavier kind of paper. And what I did was use an example of uh, an old VHS tape. Maybe this is a long time ago for some of you who are watching, but uh, these videotapes, they came in sort of, um, well, chipboard boxes or heavy paper kind of slide-in boxes like this one. So these were my examples and I imitated one of those and gave my own uh, style to it. I then uh, continued by painting the paper with an acrylic paint. I mixed it to uh, give it the color that I wanted, which is this kind of sea green-like color because I wanted it to match this paper. So this is actually a painted craft paper box that I folded together and glued together. Then I made a hole here, put a bread through it with these trinkets. Actually, this is an earring, this uh, bluish uh, uh, thing here, except of course for this little hand here, this charm. Well, you know these from my other mini albums. It's the little handmade charm that I like to use in all of my mini albums sort of a trademark not really of course but you know just what i like to do so this is the box and then the mini album fits right into it like this now as for the insides i left them pretty plain i did spray a tiny little bit of glimmer mist you can see it with my finger here and i did that inside the whole box so this is the box now as for the mini album, you can see that the covers are pretty simple as well in the sense that I didn't embellish them very much because they, it had to fit inside the box so I couldn't use huge flowers or other 3D kind of stuff so I, I just put a little ribbon there and then uh, well chose a paper from the paper stack that had lots of color so that's the only decoration really uh, that I uh, created at the outside of the cover as you can see now this is a this is a lovely paper and I will show you now for this album I used a Prima paper Prima marketing and it's called Madeline and it's got this uh, floral theme with blues and greens and of course the flowers and it's very romantic and I guess tiny bit vintage feel to it. Love the paper. All right, let's get to the album. Uh, the binding, as I told you, these are rings and I used a cinch binding uh, machine. This is my first mini album that I bound this way, so it's the first time I used my cinch and I bought the, 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 the cinch rings that go with the machine. The sizes of the elm, well, as usual, I forgot to measure it for this video, but um, I am estimating it at 11 centimeters horizontally and about 15 centimeters vertically. And I will put the inches below because I don't know these by head. Okay, let's open it. Now, here I was inspired by one of Kathy Orta's mini albums. It's the CHA Travel album by Kathy Orta, which has several kinds of suitcase-like pockets and closures. And I uh, didn't do the tutorial, but I thought I could create one myself. And I created this one. And the difference with the usual pocket is that the hinge here is, a, is I doubled it. So it has this, uh, it has more room here, and it, to me, it feels more like a like a, a like a suitcase or a briefcase actually, like a business briefcase. 
I like that uh, very much. I came up with that myself. I decorated it with the paper from the paper stack and put a tag inside of it. But of course, there's lots of room in this pocket because it's deeper than usual. So you can put lots of other things inside it, which I like very much. And then, of course, when I'd finished the pocket, only then did I realize that with this ring binding, I shouldn't have used the kind of closure that opens uh, on the top. I should have used a side-loading pocket, of course, with a side-loading uh, closure as well, which I didn't do, as you can see. So I was uh, very angry with myself, of course, and I had to improvise. So what I did is created a little opening here, which of course is not perfect, it's not ideal, but hey, I, I couldn't get myself to throw out this entire cover because this is actually glued to the cover. So this is what I learned from this mini album. As for the other pages, I used Kathy Orta's basic page of her Build a Page mini album construction uh, design. Then I decorated, of course, with my own style and I added uh, the punch here. As you can see, added some little roses here. This is a pocket, so you could put photos inside it or maybe a tag of your own. And then here on the top, this is a top-loading pocket, as, uh, as you can see, there's a tag. Now, I considered decorating the other side of the tag as well, but then this pocket here is what they call a library pocket, which is not a very wide pocket. So in order to put some photos, well, I thought I'd leave it with this one decoration here. So all of these top-loading tags have been decorated only one side. Okay, next, uh, well, the other side of the page. Here is another pocket that I did, and then I put a little tag here, a little journaling spot, or you know, to write a title or something. Attached it with two cute little pink brads that uh, had some glitter to them. And then I added some tags using some scraps of paper that were left over from the paper stack. You may have seen these uh, in my other mini albums. I love to use scraps of paper like this, creating patterns of your own. I really enjoy that. It's, I think it looks creative and uh, original. And then here, another one with the music paper. Next page, here is the basic page again. So the pocket with the, with the punched border here. I attached a belly band and added a little side-loading tag here, or journaling spot, decorated on one side. And then here the top-loading photo mat, like this, matching the other pages. And as I just showed you, other side left it plain. A pocket page, like that, you can flap it open. These are smaller tags and I love those little ones. I put eyelets through them with some ribbon and then on the other side decorate it with scraps of paper creating my own patterns again. This is also a flap, you can flap that open as well so as you can see well, the entire layout goes well together. Here is another pocket and I used my uh, ribbon punch, which I thought I'd show you again. I showed it in one of my previous videos. Um, I think it was with the Fiddlesticks Explosion box, so you can check that out on my blog or on my YouTube channel, but uh, I thought I'd show you again. I actually wrecked mine because, as you can see, uh, this, this will not close anymore, which is my own fault because these are two little magnets here and they're supposed to, uh, well, to uh, to go like this but uh, one of the magnets fell out and I just glued it back in without checking if I had the as it were the magnetic directions correctly which I did not as you can see so I glued it as it turned out um, the other way ar uh, around and I cannot get it out anymore so I have to constantly keep it like this which well doesn't make it any easier but hey 
as you can see, I managed after all. I can recommend these, uh, provided you do not wreck them as I did, but these ribbon punches are great and you can create these kinds of patterns with ribbons through your paper, which I like very much. Well, this is the flap. I added a little bow here to, uh, to get these pink colors on all the pages. Next page. Here is a small side pocket and I added this little flip out tag I guess you could call it or you know you can journal here. I really love this layout. I don't know why I like the colors, I like the way it turned out with the patterns and the blue here and then the entire layout with the other page. I don't know. You, usually with a mini album I have one favorite page layout and for this mini album it's this one for me and at least. Here's a tag uh, again with the butterflies. I put a little ribbon here and of course this paper matches the entire layout again. Here are the butterflies again. Love this paper. It's beautiful. And then it's the final page. I added a little photo flip here. Uh, you can flip this open. Here I did the scraps of paper thing again, creating my own pattern. And I really wanted to uh, create some space for journaling, so I chose a light colored paper. Actually, it's almost white, not really, because it has a very subtle pattern. And then I did some stamping actually. I don't stamp very much, but uh, I thought, hey, let's do it here. So I stamped this entire branch with leaves and flowers. And I used this stamping ink here. It's by Versa Color, and the color is called Bisque. It has number 182, as you can see. Bit of a sand color, I guess. And I thought it matched the. Uh, pattern that is already in the paper uh, very well because as you can see here in the background there's a leaf as well. I do have this Kaiser Craft sort of a text pattern stamp and I used a mixture of this uh, same bisque and also the silver by uh, Versa Color just on top of each other to uh, stamp very very lightly. It's very subtle. I like it. You can see it with the naked eye. On the cover of this flap, as you can see, I added a little blue feather and then put a bling on top of it. The last page is actually the inside of the back cover. I added a pocket here and then I wanted to put sort of an album insert or a special tag or something inside it and I stumbled onto this one. For this one, I was inspired by my sister Scrappers. The lady is called Ginger. I think she came up with it. And I will put a link to her tutorial in the description box uh, on YouTube and on my blog. I adjusted the measurements because I just used some paper that I had left over, so hers has completely different measurements. But uh, the basic principle is the same, so mine turned out like this. I like it a lot. It has three tags. It's sort of a pocket page insert thingy. I put three tags inside it here. Left it plain on the other side, as you can see. Added a piece of bling, little rhinestones, and used some scraps of paper to decorate the tags, as you can see on this one, uh, on these ones as well. And then this is the decoration of the double pocket and the other side. Now, as you can see here, I distressed every piece of paper uh, on the pockets and the tags and also throughout the entire album with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I thought I'd show you for once. This is black soot and this is what it looks like. And for the tags uh, throughout the entire album and the photo mats, as you can see, I, uh, I used my purple corner chomper. 
This is a crocodile corner jumper, it's by We Are Memory Keepers, as you can see. They have several, I think four or five different ones, and each one has two corner effects. Mine has cloud and scallop. Cloud is what you can see here on my tags, little cloud. And then the scallop, I think, I don't know if you can see it, but... Uh, well, well, here maybe a bit. Well, it's well, it's a scallop, so it's a double, double one. So these are four, and the scallop is two. I use this thing a lot, so uh, thought I'd, sh I'd show you for once as well. Speaking of the tools that I used for the first pocket here, as you can see, I have some rounded corners. You could use one of the other corner chompers. I know We Are Memory Keepers has one that will uh, do some uh, corner rounding. But uh, I actually used this little punch here. This is a corner rounder, as you can see here. Very simple. You just put the piece of paper and then you punch. I think this one is just as fine as, as a corner chomper and it's a lot cheaper. So for me, this one is perfect. And I think you may have also seen, well, like here it is, these uh, half circles I created with a circle punch. The circle punches you have in different sizes, larger, smaller, for the the outside box here I actually used a very large one as you can see these are all different punches so it's one punch for one size circle and for the small one for instance it looks like this so yeah this was my ring bound pocket page mini album inspired by both Kathy Orta and Ginger so I hope you liked it and thanks for watching, bye bye!